Portman County authorities are warning families to be aware of coyotes. It comes after this new video surfaced of a coyote jumping a six foot fence onto the roof of a shed. Quite a leap. The video was taken in Pecan Grove in Richmond. And just this past weekend in the Katie Fulcher neighborhood of Firethorn, a coyote killed a family's beloved pet. Marcelina Benito joins us live near Katie tonight with this family's warning to others. Marcelina. Well, Mia, the family says the coyote problem out here has only been getting worse. In fact, they see coyotes all the time milling about their property. And this weekend, a pack of coyotes killed their beloved French bulldog, Bentley. It's an unmistakable sound outside the Conaway's home. Packs of coyotes howling into the night sky. Uh, we've, we see them all the time I and mean, you can see them. I mean, they'll stand in the yards. Um, they they're everywhere. And it's they why start. Debbie says they took every precaution. Their dogs never out at night or early in the morning. But this weekend, as they packed to head out of town for a 25th wedding anniversary trip. We heard the pack start howling. It was 1030 in the morning and Bentley was nowhere to be found. Her husband ran towards the howling. There were about six of them, um, really big um, German Shepherd size, um, really big coyotes, um, and they had had my dog. By the time he got there, it was too late. 14 pound Bentley never stood a chance. Yeah, there wasn't much left of her. Law enforcement now warning other families to not leave their pets outside. This video shot by a homeowner in nearby Pecan Grove fueling those concerns. The coyote seen jumping a six foot fence onto the roof of a shed. They can for sure jump like it's like it's nothing. They cross over at any of the fence lines. The Conaways know firsthand the danger coyotes can pose. Bentley is buried back next to a pecan tree, a plaque arriving soon. They're hoping no other family has to go through this same sort of thing. Your only defense is keeping your dog with you. And I, yeah, I wasn't far. Really unfortunate. Marcelino, I have to ask you, was this the first time the family had a problem with coyotes in the area? Well, me, it actually wasn't earlier this year. The family tells me a coyote got a little too close to the property and their golden retriever cam actually was able to kill that coyote on his own. They say there's so much construction in this area. These coyotes have nowhere else to go but into these very neighborhoods. Mia. Yeah, remain vigilant out there. Marcelino, thank you. Here's some